determine whether the sequence converges or diverges. So we just have to take the limit as n approaches infinity of the sequence. I'm going to rewrite it by bringing the e downstairs like this and making the exponent positive. Okay, so now we can look at this and we can write the answer down and say how. Well, this is a quadratic, right? It's n squared. This is an exponential. Exponentials grow faster than quadratics, so this limit is equal to zero because the bottom grows faster. Um, you could show some work if you wanted to. You could use L'Hopital's rule. Let's do it. Let me just show you how. So L'Hopital's rule says when you have infinity over infinity, uh, you can just take the derivative of each. Now, you're not supposed to use L'Hopital's rule with sequences, uh, but you can. Okay, you can. Just when you do it, just in your mind, pretend they're x values. Sometimes you will run into issues. There's no apparent issues here, right? If this is x squared and this is e to the x, we can certainly take the derivative. We get 2n and we have e to the n. And then we can do it again. We can use L'Hopital's again because it's still infinity over infinity. So the derivative of 2n is 2. The derivative of e to the n is e to the n. And now it's more clear, right? This is blowing up. This is a constant, and so the answer is 0. In any case, uh, 0 is called the limit of the sequence. And because we have a limit, because the limit, you know, when we take the limit, we get a number, which is called the limit, uh, we say the sequence converges. If you um, take the limit and you don't get a number, then you say the sequence diverges. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.